What's happening? What's happening? Hope everybody's doing well. Man, I wanted to show you something real quick. I thought this was pretty wild. I'm on uh, DistroKid, which is a distributor where you can uh, put your music out there for people to hear. Um, I've been on DistroKid for maybe, I don't know, a couple of years. Um, so I, I just don't think, I'm not sure... I'm not a hundred percent sure, hundred percent, excuse me, sure how revenue works over here. Um, these are all my uh, my songs, uh, and there are some that I've done with a buddy of mine named Jason. Excuse me, and um, so the green dot next to the uh, album means that it's live, and it's uh, and to the far right it shows all the platforms that it's currently on so you know you see all the logos like from amazon and spotify and apple and whatever else you know so uh let's see and we got uh some albums down here or singles that i've done with my partner jason when we had uh shimbera and wentz going and we haven't done nothing in quite some time um but I just want to show you what this is. This is crazy, man. This is wild. Uh, I don't see. I don't see. Unless I'm mistaken, if I look at the icons to the right, I don't see a YouTube logo. I don't believe I see one. So you look at all this, all these uh, songs. I mean, look at all that, all that music. Now, I can remember when I would upload these songs, it would say, do you want to be on YouTube? And I said, I said, yeah, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know if there's a, I don't know. I don't know if there's something you're supposed to, to click on here or what. So let's look at, this is When Worlds Collide with uh, Shambara and Wentz. It shows you that when I uploaded it, how everything was, and there's the stores. So, add features. Okay, YouTube money. There, it, there it is, right there. I didn't. Okay, that explains. <clears throat> okay. Fourteen ninety-five a year plus twenty percent of YouTube ad revenue from matches we detect. Um, get notified and paid if your music is ever used in any YouTube videos. We'll add this album to YouTube's content ID database and uh, continually scan for matches. When your music is detected in any YouTube video, you'll be notified, and ad revenue will automatically go to you instead of the person who uploads the video. Okay, I've never I've never done that feature uh on this platform. I guess because see, okay. Right here. Now see, you didn't opt this album into YouTube money when you uploaded it benefits opting into so I just, I mean, you know, I, I never really paid attention to it because I was like, well, that's another, that's fourteen ninety five a year. And I was like, ah. Uh. So that's why I came to, to, uh, Distro Kid because it was cheaper than the other distributor I was using. So, uh, let me see. How many, how many albums are on here for Shimbara and Wentz? Uh, let's see. All right, let me see here. We're going to. There's one from the heavens. That's a single. Uh, Shimbar and Wentz, Midnight Stroll Through the Park. That's two. Uh, Jason's a Jam. That's three. Join me, shall you? <laughs> that's four. Uh, We've done quite a few. Okay, Woovian, 
Great song. That's five. Circle of Goodness. That's six. Low Country. Seven. Angels Fly to Me. Eight. Kisses in the Rain. That's nine. Now, these are singles. The Beauty of Her. Ten. After the Rain. That'd be 11. Sunday Morning Smile. Twelve. When She's Gone. Thirteen. And then the EP... You could say 14, I guess. So, wow. <clears throat> That's a lot we've done. So, but here's what I'm getting at. I put all, I changed distributors is what I'm, what this video is about. So, let's go to my uh, bank. Now, this is, I guess, the difference between not having are not opting in for the YouTube money, I guess, and I'll show you that in a second. Eleven dollars and sixty-two cent. That's it. So you're looking at that's been what probably a couple of years now. I would I would guess because we Shimbert and Wentz has been inactive for quite some time. Uh, I guess you know. I guess things just kind of change. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, but. Let me go to my old distributor. This is what blew my mind. Let me see if I can type it in. Let me go to my old distributor. And on that one. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me go back here. There we go. I hit the wrong one. Let's see. Let's see if we can go to the old distributor. Here we go. I'm on my old distributor. And... Uh, I, the only thing on here left that is an active album is that, is Gentle Smile. That's the only thing that's left. But I had a bunch of other music on here that has been since taken, has since been taken down because it just, it wasn't selling. Nobody nobody buys music anymore. But look at, look at the money I have sitting up here. $104.48. That's a lot. A lot, uh, <laughs> a lot better than eleven dollars and some change, right? And I was looking at my notification. I have not been on TuneCore in a long time because I don't use them anymore. But look, look at all my notifications. It's from YouTube. YouTube revenue. Ain't that something? Now I don't know how long it took for the. Well, I said two years since I've been over here. So, look, let's... I don't use TuneCore anymore because when you put out an album, which is, you know, four songs or more, um, they charge you twenty nine ninety nine, I think. And then the next, the following year, it doubles. It goes to forty nine ninety nine. So, to me, that's just... That's a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> but, see, the Shambara and Wentz album I had on here, I didn't follow through with the release because it was I was like I'm not paying that that's when I discovered DistroKid but look at all the music that I had on here I had uh, well, look at this the way we used to be it's taken down then she turned around that's taken down you probably hear my dog in the background I don't know what the hell's wrong with her she's wanting some attention uh, the upper hand taken down all these have been taken down there's one just when you thought Shimbar and Wentz. Um, look at that. That was released in 2017. That's three years ago. Wow. St. Cloud is another. That was one of, our first, uh, one of our first recordings, I think. Uh, June of 2017. So that's, well, that's <laughs> three years ago again. Wow. And uh, but all these have been taken down because if you don't renew them, uh, 
you know, they're they're taken down by Tune Corps. Um but uh so I mean they do send you an email and they say, Hey, uh if you want your music to continue to be available, then it's gonna cost X amount of dollars. If not, uh you can follow these steps and blah blah and it's kind of it's kind i mean i'm gonna be honest with you man when i f would try to get material taken down so i didn't want to be charged any more money it's it's not hard but they, they make it kind of where you got to jump through a few hoops to get to that point of the site to take your stuff down so it's kind of like uh okay but all of these all of these albums and and tracks have been taken down because they they just weren't doing anything you know I mean, nobody was buying them, and this is, uh, I think this is right before streaming was really hitting hard like it is now. So look, that's 2015, that's five years ago, there's more, more uh, singles and albums. I mean, I've done a lot of music, and this was the main distributor I used for years, but so I guess that's the the first one, I, the first single I'd done. Maybe there's some more that I've done with uh, my buddy Jim Gidry, and it, it's not on here. So, oh, okay, here we go. Page one of four. I was about to say, let's go to the second. Let's go to the second page. I want to see all the albums that I'll let you see. I mean, man, I was a songwriting machine, man. Here we go. <clears throat> That one's live, Gentle Smile. That one's and that was released six years ago. Wow. City Rain. Don't stop Santa. <laughs> Two thousand fourteen. We're in in that year now. Look at all these man. God dog. Man. There's my granddaughter on the right. <laughs> greatest hits, yeah. Uh, greatest hits. What what am I thinking? Or what was I thinking? Greatest hits. Oh my god. I guess I was just looking for a way to put out an album. You know, I don't know. Greatest hits. Give me a break. All right. Let's see. 2014 still. Wow. Man, 2013, good Lord. And let's go to page number three. Any day now, any day now, here we go. Uh, why does that keep popping up like that? Uh, Wow, halfway there. 2013, seven years ago. Damn, it does not seem that easy company. <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. That's funny. That's so fine. Oh, remember that, Jim? Two, uh, 2013, Love Ain't for Stealing. Done that with uh, Jimbo and Eric. The Good Old Fashioned Way. I've done that album with... Uh, Jimbo, Second Chance, I did that with a, a friend of mine, Dean Gosnell. He's passed away. He has since passed away. Look at all these singles, man. 2012, Just Want to Run With You, Smoke and Mirrors. Well, Smoke and Mirrors was really one of my first attempts at doing an album by myself, just doing everything by myself and I was that was eight years ago and that's just uh, with a little uh, multi-track recorder and uh, trying to get the best possible sound I could get for it for the time I thought it was really good and the production at the time was I thought was good and there's Desert Highway which is a phenomenal song and the production is actually really good on that. 
2011. Uh, Flip the Switch. A great album I done with Jim Gidry again. That was uh, <clears throat> that was a lot of fun. 2011, man. When Love Came Back Around, 2010. Uh, GNW Blues Experiment. There we go. 2010. Jimbo. Ten years ago. That was that was fun. All right, do we have any more? We should. We it says we got one more page. I don't know how many is going to be on that page, but we'll see. Uh, oh, here we go. Now we're getting to the 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 old stuff. Along for the ride. That was with the. Uh, that was with Jim Gidry again. Two thousand and ten. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And there we go. The first uh, collaboration with my buddy Jimbo, Flash in the Pan. What was that March twenty ninth of two thousand and ten? Um, now all these, like I said, all these have been taken down. But that is a lot of music. That's a lot of songs, man. And. uh But, you know, make money from Facebook. I'm not even on Facebook no more. You ain't going to make no money from Facebook. Uh, what does that say? Congratulations. Your music is on its way to being heard by listeners all over the world. Now that you've done all the hard work of creating and distrib distributing it, uh, let's make sure you receive your funds. Yeah. Yeah, and you know there's going to be a catch to something. They're going to get a fee or something. There's going to be something involved. But but it's weird. The only the only song I have live on this distributor is General Smile, which is which is wild. But uh I guess I don't know, man. I guess on here there's they have it set up where you do obviously they have it set up where if you do business with them, they have it uh where you make some YouTube revenue. And, uh, which I have not checked. I have not been on this distribution site in, well, two years. I haven't been on here in forever. So, pretty crazy stuff. But it's really cool to see that I, I have $104. So, <laughs> I mean, hell, man. You know, that'll buy a couple of groceries, right? Anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, streaming's, streaming's where it's at now. And I, uh, but really, uh, it's YouTube is where it's at. If you can get um, monetized and you can use a service like this, or you know, even on DistroKid, excuse me, if I would have paid for that, uh, for the extra YouTube thing on those releases, it might have been more money on the return. But I didn't do it because I really didn't, I really didn't think it would matter, you know, and and I wasn't making music and uh, putting it out there to make some kind of big return. I was just putting music out there because I love to make music and play and but I don't I don't write music much anymore. Uh back then, as you saw, <clears throat> you know, 7 10 years ago, I had I had more time to do that and uh you know, things change, man. I have to work a lot more hours now and situations change and that's just the way it goes, but uh, but it's wild to go back and see all that, the uh, list of all the material that was on there in the past. Wow, that brings back memories. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Thanks for watching. So yeah, if you uh, put put out a lot of music, be sure that uh, whoever you go with, DistroKid or TuneCore, that you uh, put in for that YouTube revenue, uh, it can help. I mean, it's, it takes a long time to build up anything, but it can help. I mean, you saw the difference. 1162 compared to, uh, what was that, 104.48? Yeah. So, wow. I didn't I didn't know they'd done that over here, you know, because I didn't, I didn't check no box over here. I guess that was just added into the, the fees that they charged you uh, when you first – I did the album or something when you first re, uh, signed up to release it, I reckon. Because if they were still charging me something, it would, I'm sure it would come out of that. 
Maybe they have been. I just haven't paid attention because, like I said, I haven't been over here in a couple of years to check this. But anyway, pretty wild. I wonder if I can re-release some of this stuff. That would be cool, you know. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.